This is the brand new to us Winnebago 2004 Vectra. It's 40 feet, class A diesel pusher, and we're gonna give you a tour of it. We're pretty excited. We needed more space, so we traded in our class C RV for this 2004 Winnebago class A diesel pusher. She definitely has more space inside and out and has been really comfortable to cruise around in so far. So we are going to give you a tour of the new to us Winnebago RV. So I am gonna give you a tour of the outside and give you all the cool stuff there, the mechanical stuff, and then I'm gonna let Miss Stephanie give you a tour of the inside. Sounds good to me. Kind of the major thing, why we upgraded this, we just didn't have enough space. We had a class C, it was, it did what we needed to do, but, and it was comfortable to live in, but we didn't have stuff, room for our stuff, right? If we wanted to go in the bedroom, we had to move all our luggage back in the living room. If we wanted to be in the bedroom, in the living room, we had to move all our luggage to the bedroom. It was just kind of pain. Now this thing has just tons of storage. I'll just start here in the front and we'll kind of move around. Um, you know, a nice full size door for going in. These steps come out automatically and it's kind of cool. It's got a slide that comes out and makes it a flat floor when you're underway. Uh, all brand new six tires. Um, I learned this the hard way because uh, the, the tires when we bought it looked in excellent condition, but I didn't look at the date stamp on them and they were from 2009. And we were coming down here to Baja and that's just one thing you don't want to mess with. So it was expensive to get all brand new tires, but now we have all brand new tires. Um, kind of cool thing is, is you can fill up the fuel on either side. So uh, you can either fill up, I want to say boats, if I almost said starboard side, but if, you, if I say that, that's because I'm, what you're, I'm used to my other channel, Sailing Duels, which you should check out. But you can fill it from either this side or there's a duplicate on the other side, which I'll show you later. And we have this nice big power awning. So it's just a push button. Uh, right here we have a little panel that I can select and push in and out as well as this awning over the uh, the door and it's got a wind sensor which is a bit annoying sometimes it's a little too sensitive but if the wind picks up too much I don't even know what the level is it'll automatically pull the awnings in with you know so if we leave and forget to pull the awnings in or something we don't have to worry about it and it's nice just having the automatic ones instead of having to push everything out it just rolls in and out super simple and then the biggest factor that makes the biggest difference here is all this storage. Um, so just tons of storage under here. So we kind of keep our workout stuff here. Here's our uh, GrowWatt uh, battery backup. And then we keep our Starlink in here when we're underway. Uh, and then, so it's got a bunch of these doors that open up. Um, this one opens up all the way as well. And you know, I keep my bicycle in there and we keep our, you know, soft drinks and beer and extra stuff there. Uh, and then just so much storage. I mean, like, you know, another one full here. We keep um, like a, an extra luggage here, plus all these chairs that are out here go inside there. It's really nice. Uh, I mean, just, that's what we didn't have in the old RV. And then back here, this is kind of like an entertainment center. Um, so this is 2004, right? It was before they had flat screen TVs. Like, we'll show you inside. It's still got a cutout for like a square TV, but you would, oh man, it's dusty in here. Uh, we were on a dusty road. So you pull this out and you got a stereo system here, speakers on the side. You would, you know, in the olden days, uh, put your square TV out here and set it out here because it's got like a cable outlet and everything. Really, we could put like a 30 inch TV and just kind of leave it in here and fold it up. But honestly, we don't, we're not, eh, we don't need it. This is, you know, this is a regular outlet, I believe. Yeah, an outlet there. We have our water fill here. And then this is for our heater. It has propane heat for the inside of the bus or it has electric heat. Uh, we normally use the propane heat. It's a little more efficient because it carries like 30 gallons of propane. So it'll last us like six months. And then this is the water heater. So the water heater will run off 110 or uh, propane. So it's nice having hot water anytime we want. And then, yeah, this is actually condenser and uh, evaporation you know kind of radiator for the air conditioner so most rvs have roof mount air conditioners this one has like a, basically a household type unit in here so uh, we just have one air conditioner to power the whole thing it's really efficient and it's a lot quieter than using the roof mount stuff so we had this one on the last one nothing's changed here we still have the trailer i did put new tires on this as well just because we're coming down to baja and the other ones are looking a little sketch uh we keep our bicycles on it and then our uh ural sidecar motorcycle that we pull behind as well it's our tool for getting around kind of cool and then coming back to the back and then it does have these little awnings over the windows as well to help you get a little shade and a little privacy which is nice uh, helps things from getting quite as hot in there and then coming around to the back 
It, uh, it does have a backup camera up top and then access to the engine. You just open this guy up right here and uh, you can check your engine oils and your fluids and everything right here. Uh, it has a, uh, it's a Caterpillar 330 horsepower turbocharged turbo diesel. Um, and it was an option on this. You could go with a 350 Cummins, but this thing has been great. Uh, we've had no problem going up hills. Only a couple times in the mountains have like, uh, you know, extended climbs that maybe the temperature starts going up a little, but you know, you just kind of back off a little, slow down, but it's been doing uh, pretty well. It's nice having this. And then we can come around to the back on the other side over here. So it has two slide outs. Uh, this one, I mean, and they're a lot deeper than our old slide outs. The other ones were only about, you know, 12 inches. This one's a good, I don't know, two feet, two and a half feet, uh, both of them. And so this one's for the bedroom. It does have uh, another radiator here. That's for the engine. So the radiator engine is on, on this side here. Um, over here, we have our electrical uh, systems, basically. Um, it has an auto coiler for shore power. So we just push a button and this hose will come back in. The inverter and the battery charger lives in here as well. Um, and, you know, pretty simple to use. Uh, got its own compartment and then on Moving forward to this other compartment, this is the, you know, sanitation area. So, hook up our short, our, our city water. Uh, we can either fill the tank with it or use those city water pressure. Um, also, we have a little remote hose if we wanted to wash something down outside. Uh, and then our black and gray water tank dumps are right here. Um, and then it's kind of cool. We can actually flush our waste tank. We just hook a hose up to it and flush it and just leave it open and run all this stuff out. This is our second slide out here. So this whole, it, this is a really big slide out. It's probably 12 feet long and two feet out. And it's cool because you'll see inside it's a flat floor. So it comes out and drops down. So there's no like two levels inside, which is pretty cool. And then more storage right here. Um, you know, this is where I keep all my tools and such in there. And then I'm not gonna open the other storage compartment just because it's kind of full, but it's got a, actually a cover that we could cover the whole RV with if we wanted to. Um, and then back behind this uh, slide out is the propane tank. Like I said, it's, I think it's 30 gallons. So, I mean, that'll last us six months or more. Uh, you know, just, just running water heater and cooking with and all that. And then the refrigerator runs either on 110 or the propane and it'll last forever on that. And then, you know, another little pull out awning up here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, this, let's see here, put this into this, our batteries. Yeah, well, this is just a breaker panel. We could store, store stuff in there if we wanted to, but no real need. Uh, and then coming forward here to the front, this whole, uh, this opens up. And then we can slide out the whole generator assembly. It's a diesel generator, 7,500 watts, on and Works great, haven't had any problems with it. So, uh, you know, it's nice having this thing around. And then it does have an air compressor in here and we can, you know, uh, for the free, for the, it does have air conditioning for the dash and all that. So nice and easy to get out right here. The, uh, this thing's filthy right now. I need to clean it. We've been hitting a lot of bugs lately, obviously. But one thing that's kind of annoying, they, so they put this protective plastic, I don't know why there's so many bees here, but there are, but maybe they're eating the bugs, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so this plastic I had to put a protective class plastic coating on there, but it's uh, It's cracked and it makes it look really bad. I've been trying to get it off. There's one section where I did get it off It looks a lot better, but uh, I mean that took me like two hours just to do that one little section So come on up here. I'll show you uh, kind of the the helm station area here And then I'll let Steph show you the rest of the bus. So come on in this thing is really nice to drive. It's uh, got uh, air ride suspension, air brakes, you know, so uh, it's got airbags front and back, so it rides really well, and it's very quiet, uh, which is nice to drive. Um, this curtain comes all the way around. We have actually shades that can go on the outside too if we're gonna be somewhere an extended amount of time. And it's pretty easy to drive here. Um, they do, you do have to take into account that it is air ride suspension and brakes. So you have, to, it's another 
thing you have to watch is your air gauges. If they get too low, you'll get an alarm. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like an airplane. You have a, you know, your average car just has like a couple like check engine light. It doesn't tell you what it is. This thing has a whole instrument panel that uh, kind of tells you what's going on with everything. So it's really nice. Um, and you can control everything from here. I got buttons basically everywhere. These seats will come all the way around so you can make them part of the rest of the stuff. I got sun visors going up and down on each side. Uh, that I can control from here. Uh, I got air horn, I got my exhaust brake, so it's a Jake brake, so like if you're going down the hill it uses the engine brake, right, and sort of, instead of burning up your your uh, your uh, brakes. Um, it, it has a turbo gauge on it, my trans temperature on it, so that you know if you know if you're getting hot on either way, and of course your engine temperature, oil pressures, all that. Um, it does have a hydraulic uh, leveling system that I can control from here. Uh, so, you know, it has jacks that go down to make the boat, the uh, boat, the RV level. Um, and then it does have a reverse camera. It's kind of an old school camera, but it does work. So, I mean, I just leave that on all the time when we're driving so I can keep an eye on the trailer. Um, but uh, it's really easy to drive. Um, it is one of the cool things if you want to step forward a little bit, Steph is uh, I, pushing a button here, I can put the uh, step cover out. I mean, you go ahead and do that. So that way we have a flat floor when we're underway. It's a little bit safer from, than falling down the steps, but really nice to drive. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. And, it, and one of kind of the cool features is it does have a little charging rack for handheld radios. We use these a lot. So, you know, if we're backing up, trying to back in a tight spot, we use these, pretty cool. And now I will let Steph show you the rest of the bus. Welcome to the inside of the Vectra. So this is kind of where we hang out, we live every day, we work. So this is just the main living area. You have your couch here, um, tons of storage above. So we put, you know, batteries, uh, extra paper, a printer, all. Bobby's camera gear. Um, what's a great and neat thing about this couch is it actually reclines. So it can turn into a bed or if you're just watching TV, you can just lounge. Um, and this couch right here, it's also great for you know entertaining. Um, you have a lot of space for that and there's storage underneath this couch as well. So again, a lot of storage, um, lots of room to hang out, which I really enjoy. And this TV, so Great TV, it came with the RV, but it also has, uh, it extends and, uh, it extends so basically when we're driving, instead of it moving back and forth, we can put it down. And then when we are parked, we can put it back up. So that's the great thing about this living area. Um, so now moving to uh, the dining table, which is really Bobby's workspace, which is totally fine because we actually have these great, um, like, table mats I don't know TV trays like TV trays so we have the TV trays um, we like to watch TV when we're eating anyways so uh, dining area again more storage up here which is great um, which we didn't have in the other RV so it's really helpful for putting all of Bobby's camera gear away one great thing about this RV is with the slide outs um, it become, becomes a flat floor so instead of like the unlevel flooring um, that many RVs have this one actually goes flat so that way you're not walking and stubbing your toe or um, you feel like you're in a complete you feel like you're in an apartment in here honestly um, and then moving on to we just have a little another storage area more for kitchen stuff so we have this area for like plates um, glasses and then we have you know down here for all our liquor as well our liquor and pots and pans um, so that's great for the kitchen area because we didn't really have much storage in our last RV. So this makes cooking, because I love to cook, um, so much easier. We have microwave, more storage for food um, up here, as well as down here like for cleaning supplies and just drawer space for, um, you know, utensils. Um, you know, a stove top, which is great. Um, it's, you know, three, three stove tops, which is really great. Um, and then we have our full-size fridge and freezer. I love this just because, again, we can go, you know, we're living on this, so it gives us full amount, it gives us the ability to go food shopping for, you know, a couple weeks and be able to store it all. So that's really great. 
So when we're on our way, we actually put this cover on here. And then this is just extended space for, you know, like when we're cooking or like when we want to put something on here, you just put this down and then that way you have a little more space. Um, so which that now come on back to the bathroom. So this bathroom space really is nice. Um, again, lots of storage. I'm emphasizing on that because cabinet space, we have drawer space. Um, the shower, the shower I love, it has a seat, you know, in case you get tired, <laughs> I don't know. Um, really great, the pressure in here is awesome. Um, you know, this bathroom doesn't have a slide out, so one water away if we need to use the bathroom at any time, um, it's, all, it's all the same. And here we have our bathroom. So this bathroom has a, what well, I like to call a bum gun, which is basically a, a, a non fancy bidet uh has a sink in here as well so if you have guests um you know they can have their own privacy which is great um as well as a fan for you know those people who need a fan um more storage up here for like toilet paper other things garbage bags so and then nope. one oh, and then also one plus to this RV, which is, you know, for me, a huge plus, is we have a washer and dryer. So as you see, I was doing laundry. Um, and up here, I, I store all of this laundry stuff um, in here. So it's one of those European washers and dryers. So it washes and then dries, but it works great. I love it. Um, it's great for when we're traveling. So it actually uses propane, propane instead of electricity to dry. So it dries the clothes really well, which I love. And one great thing about this RV as well is when you're having guests or even when you are, say I want to go to sleep but Bobby still wants to watch TV, there's doors. So there's doors entering the bathroom and leaving the bathroom. So having this is a sense of privacy. We had my sister and her boyfriend here a few, here a few weeks ago. So when they were sleeping on the pullout couch bed, uh, we were able to close these doors, which was awesome. And now entering the bedroom. So. The bedroom has a desk here. We kind of just use it for storage. Um, we have tons of space to put our clothes, uh, as well as our closet. So these are sliding closets. We're able to hang our clothes, have enough space for all the things that we bring on. Shoes, clothes, hats. And this is Bobby's side. He gets the bigger side. But this is my side as well. So I get to put my shoes, my clothes, hang them. And again, more storage up here. Um, we're able to put things up here like, I don't know, any knickknacks. And we have our queen size bed, which we sleep great on. I love so much. And there's plenty of windows in here as well. So if it's a cool night, we can open the windows on each side and also forward of us. Um, and we also have a TV as well. So if we want to watch TV or say, Bobby didn't want to watch a show I wanted to watch, I can stay in here and watch TV and then he can watch TV in there. So so many great things about inside this rv it really makes you feel like you're living in an apartment and then the good thing about it is we can pack everything up and go to a new location so that's one really one big plus about living in an rv especially this size is you have plenty of room it's really comfortable if you're if you like cooking i mean i do kitchen space is phenomenal so really great things about this rv well thank you for checking out our rv it's 2004 winnebago vecna vectra Sorry. Vecna. Vecna. I'm thinking uh, with Stranger Things. <laughs> but definitely an upgrade for us. It's got about 58,000 miles on it, which for a diesel, you should know that, I mean, like, this thing will last forever if you take care of it. So, pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm happy to live in it. It's yep. really a good time, and we get to travel the world in it. So, and it's comfortable. So, so check out uh, like and subscribe. Please help us out. That really helps. Yes. If you're uh, really interested, you become a channel member. This is the join button right next to subscribe. You get early access to the videos. And uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you for watching. All right.